It's mailbag time with non copyrighted music. Well, it's nice to be back opening mail. Those last two videos were heavy duty. So here we are with two packets. Inevitably, I ordered two of something because sometimes one of something doesn't work. What is this? Oh, lovely. It is a shield for an Arduino Uno. Is that got a particular orientation? I don't think so. Which has two joysticks. So, in other words, you can control... Oh, that's interesting. You can control a robot uh, using these joysticks if I can actually push them on. I don't want to break them. It doesn't even appear like... Like, that's... Is that a particular... I'm going to have to get in close and have a look at these to see if it matches it in a particular orientation. Wait a moment. Yeah, channeling a bit of Pete Clive there. So, yeah, with a bit of light on here, I'm not sure what you'll be able to see. But let's see if we can get right in close for you. Oh, it's tricky. Can we see it? Yeah, you can sort of see that it has a particular orientation. So there's some flat bits in there. So as long as you get that right, uh, that should be about like here. So... As soon as you get it right, it just slides in, or at least the other one did. So let's see if this one will go. Maybe it's a particular. Wow, that's weird. This one just went straight in. There we go. Look at that. This one, not so much. It might need a bit of a clean out, perhaps. Um, if my eyes don't deceive me, that should be. There you go. Oh, that's satisfying. So we've got our usual axes of motion and push button as well. And that should sit on top of an Uno, uh, Arduino Uno, and then we should be able to drive stuff. You know, I'm really tempted to hook this up, shall we? Let's do it. So this is the code that I have had to write for this module. Um, there's a lot of one joystick modules out there, and uh, they have four buttons as well. Um, this is different. It has two joysticks. Each joystick is a button in itself. Uh, and so the first thing I needed to do was to map the pins. So I just followed some traces from the joysticks to the, um, uh, the pins on the Arduino underneath it and made a bit of an educated guess and a bit of mucking around and managed to, uh, to get these pins. So that's left joy, the x-axis, left joy, stick, and left and what I'm just saying is, you know, I, this is left and this is right, quite arbitrary, really. Uh, right joystick uh, axis uh, for the uh, x-axis and right joystick for the y-axis. So I'm saying that this is x uh, horizontal and y is vertical. So that's what I'm using at the moment. Then I've just said that the, uh, the left switch, so this one, you can see this click. Uh, that is the uh, left switch, and then there's a right switch. And I've just set up a couple of LEDs here. Um, I mean, there's lots of things that you can do in terms of output, but um, on the top of the module, there are some outputs for some PWM channels, so I've just set that up as well. Uh, some definitions for um, the uh, magnitude of the left uh, y LED and the right Y LED, which is what I've chosen uh, to to grab from this, and then some booleans for the left button and the right and the right uh, button as well. And what I've done is just set those up: the pin modes, the inputs and outputs as appropriate, and uh, and then some uh, some serial outputs so we can monitor what's going on. Then all I've done is done some serial printing of those values coming out of there. I've done some mucking around because as it came out i think the y was zero this way and uh, it was um 100 1023 that way and i just wanted to reverse that uh, to make it more in line with the cartesian number plane because you know that's how i work and the other thing i did was i changed the mapping um of that y axis for both the left and the right hand side from zero to 1023 
to 0 to 255 and you can do that here you can do that sort of linearly although it doesn't really work for the output of the LED because our eyes don't interpret that really quite well so what I ended up doing was an exponential function instead so you can change that to um, to suit what you want to do so yeah in the end uh, what we've got then uh, with a 100 millisecond delay is a constant polling of these now that's probably not the way I would do it if I was actually building a project I'd probably do something around uh, interrupts uh, so that it's only measuring stuff when it's actually changed from what it was beforehand but anyway this is very crude so let's just go and have a look at the ferrule output and see what we've got uh, and so you can see uh, every tenth of a second we've got our uh, left x-axis our left y-axis uh, then we've got the switch currently at zero for the left joypad and we've got the or joystick we've got the right x-axis the right y-axis and then the right uh, switch so if i just press the switch uh, for the right one this should change from a zero to a one which it does and you'll notice also that the light goes out uh, for this led which i've i've just written in here basically says um, if the uh, the button is equal to zero uh, then uh, write it down as zero as well so it just turns it off basically um, so it's either active or it's turned off and it's the same with the left one as well uh, so it's your left one and your right one uh, and so you can see the left one will go to one and the right one goes to one so that's all working pretty well let's have a look at the left x axis so, so i've moved it this way the 503 which is centered at the moment should change to zero which it does and if i move it the other way it goes to uh, 1023 which is a limit of that as well the right one will do the same so here's our right x axis 516 at the moment that goes down to zero i mean you can map this however you want really and then across to the other side is 1023 with the y-axis, what I've also done, apart from uh, grabbing that in the center, is 517, it's registering at the moment, or thereabouts. If I move it down, uh, that value lowers, but you can also see uh, that the LED brightness uh, dims as well in uh, response to that. And if I push it the other way, that left y-axis value goes up to 1023, and the brightness on the LED changes as well. Uh, same with the right hand side so that's the right y-axis going up and then the right y-axis going down so i'll put this code on the blog and you can have a bit of a play with it import it do what you want as i said i mean it's very crude just polling every 100 milliseconds i ideally would uh would if i was using this to let's say drive a robot or a car or something i'd probably do this as interrupts but anyway it just shows that the module <laughs> for what it's worth i think three dollars or two dollars or something like that um actually works and works pretty well you just end up having to write your own software for it not so bad okay let's see what this has something wrapped in plastic quite surprising Two things wrapped in plastic. Okay, some sort of measuring monitoring device. I'm a bit loath to open up because I have been losing some of these lately. What I might do is actually put the overlay of the graphic on it instead. Now I will open up. If I lose it though, it's your fault. Come on, here we go. So what is this measuring? So we've got our VCC, our ground, and our out. But let me just zoom in on this one. Can we? Yeah, that's nice. What have we got on there as well? I'm not exactly sure what this chip is. It says, it's upside down for me. It says TDA1308. Hmm. You have absolutely no idea. Um, let me just have a look online and see what that is. What does this one say on it? It doesn't really, it's quite hard to read that one as well. If I can get the light right, it says, I think 5160, and then it looks like 5887. S1605888. Eight, seven on the actual um i guess whatever this is for measuring 
I don't know. This is unusual too. Look at the angle on this cap. Everything's all neatly lined up north and south. This guy gone rogue. And is there one missing there? Let's have a look. No, it's the same one there. So perhaps something that you would put across in order to measure maybe in a different range. Intriguing. I'll get back to you. Well, should have known with the TDA 1308. Anything TDA is normally audio. And that is a microphone. So this is a, I guess, digital microphone. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what we can pick up when we uh, hook this up. So we've just got VCC ground and out. And I'm guessing that this provides the amplification for this, which is the actual microphone itself. Intriguing. And two of them. Nice. Wow. That is very light. Could just be a packet of air. I don't remember ordering a packet of air from China, but you never know. It's possible. Oh, no, there is something in there. Is it just the one thing in there? It is just the one thing in there. It is some... Sop 8, something or others. Sop 8, we don't know. Sop 8, can I see that? It says, oh, CH32V003. These are beautiful little chips. Uh, so normally we've seen these ones in a module. Uh, so uh, I have done a video, I think just the one video on these in module form. So I will link that up here. But it is basically, if you think CH340, uh, which is doing your USB communication on the average sort of like Arduino Nano or, or whatever, this is sort of like the next level up. So it's got some processing power. Um, it requires very few components to make it useful. Um, and so, um, yeah, I was looking to maybe make up some of my own uh, boards on here, just little microcontrols, very cheap, Risk Five, you know, lots of instructions. Um, yeah, uh, the future. Well, that's just between you and me. Don't tell anyone. Ooh, chunky monkey. Mm, be careful, be careful. What have we got in here? LED, yeah, we've got solar powered Christmassy LED thingy, um, and not a moment too soon either in terms of the festive season, but sometimes in our place, the festive season can go on for a number of months, so I might put these along the front fence line and they can sit down there and happily be festive until someone steals them. Um, must be installed in a well-lit location where it can receive maximum sunlight. Yeah, that makes sense. So, okay. Let's unravel a little bit and then see if we can't get some action i think i ordered ones which are multi-colored so let's just see is there anything in there maybe there's no batteries in there well that would be disappointing or are they just not charged um I don't know if it says what sort of batteries it needs if you want the light to work during a daytime you need to cover the solar panel well of course you do well it's pretty covered although it is pretty light out here yeah, I'm not getting anything. In fact, I'm not even getting... Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, the button was a bit difficult. Um, and then it's got different modes. Well, that's actually pretty cute. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I hope that's... Oh, that's an off, is it? I hope that's picking it up. Lovely. I can't remember how many LEDs. I want to say at least 100. Maybe more. So we'll string them out along the fence line. Uh, let the big yellow in the sky provide the power during the day. And uh, and then at night time, happy days. Festive season all around. Nice. I think they're pretty cheap, these ones, too. Yeah, so good job. That is the mailbag for the week. And uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.